From my previous videos, you know that calling English verb tenses past, present, and future is a waste of time because they have nothing to do with actual time. So, to make everything easy, I have changed the names of all the tenses to either red or blue. Red meaning the action of the verb stops, and blue meaning the action does not stop. In this video, I want to explain why English does not have a future tense at all. Correctly speaking, a tense is one word that includes at least three things. What happened? When did this happen? And who made it happen? Let's look at an example of a future tense in Latin, not in English. Look at the Latin verb amare, to love. The base spelling is AMA, which tells us what the meaning is love. The letter B indicates when it will happen in the future, while the letters after the B tell us who is doing this action. What, when, and who, in one word, is the meaning of tense. So, of course, you cannot find this one word future tense in English. So, what to do? The early English grammar books were modeled after Latin over 400 years ago. And because Latin was the language of Western learning and culture, English grammar had to be forced to fit into this Latin model. As a result, they chose the little words will and shall to express Latin future. Unfortunately, will and shall do not really have future meaning. Will comes from an ancient root word meaning to wish or to want. That's all it means. Shall is not very useful today, so let's forget about shall. Here's a good example of will. Some people will watch TV for five or six hours every day. Is this future time? Not at all. It's past, present, and future. It happens every day. Will does not indicate future time. It tells us that a person wishes or wants to do something. Nothing more. Actually, English can express the idea of future time in many ways. Let's look at these five sentences. Number one, John sees the doctor tomorrow. Number two, John will see the doctor tomorrow. Number three, John is to see the doctor tomorrow. Number four, John is seeing the doctor tomorrow. And number five, John is going to see the doctor tomorrow. Our first example is nonstop blue, sees. So it means John regularly goes to this doctor on this day, every week, every month, every year. It sounds like John has had many appointments with this doctor. Second sentence, will see, means John wants or wishes to see the doctor the next day. The third example, John is to see, means someone has told John to go to the doctor. We know this because the word to means direction. So John is to see tells us that this direction has already been decided by someone, perhaps John's wife or his mother. The verb be with to is usually used for giving orders like this. The fourth sentence, John is seeing the doctor, shows that John has made an appointment. Remember, I explained in an earlier video that green ing is like a magnifying glass, which emphasizes. So John is seeing the doctor gives us the mental picture that he is together with his doctor. And if he is with his doctor in our mind's eye, 
the doctor must also know about this visit. The fifth example, John is going to see the doctor, tells us that John has made up his mind to go to the doctor's office tomorrow, but we don't know whether he made an appointment or not. Why? Because the green ing is now on the word going. The magnifying glass has been moved to emphasize only the road John is on, the way he is going. In our mind's eye, John is on the way to the doctor's office, but he has not yet arrived. So we cannot be sure that the doctor knows that John is coming or not. Now, let's look at the red forms with saw, would, and was, which mean everything stops for some reason and cannot happen. Number six, if John saw the doctor tomorrow. Number seven, John would see the doctor tomorrow. Number eight, John was to see the doctor tomorrow. Number nine, John was seeing the doctor tomorrow. And number 10, John was going to see the doctor tomorrow. Example number six begins with the word if, because it is not logical without adding something more. Because tomorrow with red stop means it's not true. But we want to know more. We are curious to know why he stopped. So this sentence is unfinished. And whatever comes next in this sentence will also be a red form to show that it will not happen. It will not come true. The next sentence, example seven, is similar to number six because something feels missing. Some reason why John no longer wants to see the doctor. Keep in mind that would means will not. Red and blue are opposites. In example eight, whoever told John to go to the doctor has now changed their mind because was means is not. Sentence number nine means John has canceled his appointment with the doctor because was seeing means he is not seeing the doctor tomorrow for whatever reason we don't know. The final example, number 10, indicates that John's plans for tomorrow have changed and he is not going to see the doctor. Was going to means is not going to. In this video, I have tried to explain why English has no actual future tense, although there are many ways to express the same idea. No matter what you want to say about the future, you will always have to choose between either red or blue word forms. If you need further explanation about these colors, go back and watch my previous videos on this topic. You can also subscribe to see future videos if you feel that they are helping you to understand the logic behind English grammar. Thank you for watching.